Hey, what's up garden friends? Jeff here. How's everybody doing? I hope you're good. I am great. Time to plant up my foot planter. Yep, that's something I just said. Someone gave this beautiful pot to me as a gift several years ago and I get to plant it up with new things every year. Now, I'm well aware. It's weird, but I gotta do it. I typically do something a little bit different with this pot every single year. Last year I kind of went with like a Hawaiian motif. I don't really know what that even means. I'm going to go with foliage mostly this year and a simple trailer over the front. The top of this pot isn't very big, so it does kind of limit what I can do here. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this planted up and talk about what's in here. Okay, well, this is done and has been for a few days. My little filming table broke, which I'm not shocked by. This little clearance table, though it was labeled for outdoor use, apparently what they actually meant was it can go outside, but if it gets wet, it's just, it's just gonna go ahead and break on you. Anyways, so in the back I have this Dracania. It's a Dracania Reflexa, the Song of India, beautiful variegated foliage. They can take a decent amount of water as long as it's well draining and temperatures are nice and warm outside. <laughs> but inside, once that's in the house, it's not going to want as much water. And then this really pretty creamy orange flower that's right in front of that Dracania is a Chrysandra. Likely, where I live, won't get any taller than like 18 to 20 inches this year, so it should be just fine there. It, it, they tend to not grow very fast for me, and it's going to be grown as an annual, so I'm not too worried about it getting bigger than the Dracania that's behind it. And then these little pink flowers that look kind of like a vinca that are in between those petunias. Pardon the background noise. I, I don't have a lot of time to get this filmed. There's a big old, I don't know, tropical depression moving up. Not a big deal, just a couple inches of rain, but it's gonna rain for a few days. So I have to finish this up. Like everybody's outside sort of scrambling this like last hour to get things done outside in the next few days. So I'm sorry about that. Cataranthus, I have had these for a while and I just had them in their nursery pots. They've been very drought tolerant, very heat tolerant. The tag does say that they like their soil to stay consistently moist, but they've dried out a few times and haven't skipped a beat. So that's why I wanted to try them out in here because everything that's in here are plants that, though they can take some moisture, when it gets really, really hot here during the summer, I'm speaking mostly about the petunias in the front. But once we're in the upper 90s, getting the triple digit weather, when the soil's like saturated, that's when you can start to have issues with rot. So I can just move it to more of a part shade location when it's super hot outside and it should be just fine. That Cataranthus though, isn't that a cool plant? They're just, they're like miniature Vinca, basically. Unfortunately, the tag leaves a lot to be desired. It just says that the height varies, space varies. And then it does say that they like the consistent soil moisture, but on the front, it says holds up to heat and it's drought tolerant. Usually plants that are really, really drought tolerant don't need consistently moist soil, but we're gonna find out. And this petunia, that was mislabeled. I wanted to put one in here that was a very light purple. It's actually been a few days since I planted this up. I just went ahead and gave it a few days because there weren't any flowers on there. Still looks nice. It doesn't give the contrast I wanted with the light purple flower. So if I can find that petunia, I am going to swap it out. But I thought I'd still go ahead and show it off because maybe people would like this violet wave petunia. And I do like it. It's just not the color scheme that I kind of wanted here. It is very pretty. It's extremely, extremely reflective. So kind of hard to get the color to show in camera. And that's one of the things I like about it but still not what I had planned. Everything that's in here is getting morning sun for about oh, four to six hours. And then it's filtered afternoon sun throughout the rest of the day. So it's getting a decent amount of light. The Dracania that's in the back, that Dracania reflects that I've had to acclimate that one very slowly into sun because they will absolutely just scorch when you move them into full sun, but it's been okay so far. Once I had that Dracania acclimated to the higher intense light, 
I knew it was okay to go ahead and pot it up into this combo with plants that also need a lot more light. Everything that's in here does prefer an evenly moist soil, so that's a good thing. Like I was saying, it's just more a matter of when it gets really, really, really hot outside, what to do. Thinking that the petunia is really the only one that could be a troublemaker when it comes to all that, so we will see. And this isn't a planter I ever take very seriously because, you know, it's a foot. But I wanted to have that light orange with that hint of pink. I really liked the idea of having a vinca coming over the front of this, but it was just too much, covered the foot up too much, which I guess wouldn't really be a terrible thing. We got some noisy neighbors today. I'm so sorry. Oh, but the last thing though that is kind of important is I do plan on pruning the petunia from the inside and letting it grow out the front because it is a little bit crowded in there. Typically, I don't worry about that too much with annuals. The Dracania, I'm not going to treat as an annual. I'll bring that inside. I'm going to pull it from the foot. I'm not taking the foot in the house, but I'll throw it into a pot and bring that inside in the wintertime when temperatures start to drop below like 60 at nighttime. That's when I'll move it in. Everything else I'm going to treat as an annual, even though the Chrysandra could come in. So I might do that too. We'll see. Just see what kind of growth is on there. So all my social media is linked down below. You can follow me there uh, for updates on these planters and uh, you'll be able to see if I swap this petunia out. I'm on Instagram far more than anything else. Yes, again, I am so sorry about the background noise. I don't know about y'all, but I know my neighbors and I do this too. My dad, my father, man, he really does this. Once he gets a blower in his hand, uh, he'll be outside blowing things, including my neighbors. They'll just be blowing debris for like an hour. I don't know what it is. I don't know why, but that's why I'm just going with it because I don't have an hour. It's going to start raining here. It's a foot. This, this doesn't need to be taken too seriously. <laughs> don't forget to like the video, hit that subscribe button, and I do upload multiple times a week. So hit that notification bell. That way you know when new videos come out. Hope y'all are doing well. Having a great day, great life. Everything's just going beautifully for you. And as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.